Welcome to Strength of Materials. Today's video is related to numericals on thin cylinders. So let us begin with the first numerical. The first numerical will be as the question number one, a cylindrical pipe of a diameter. So here they have given the diameter as 1.5 meter and thickness as 1.5 centimeters is subjected to an internal fluid pressure. Internal fluid pressure is there of 1.2 Newton per mm square. Determine the longitudinal stress developed in the pipe and circumferential stress developed in the pipe. So, let us begin with the solution for this numerical. So, as per the known, so let us find out how the particular pipe is there. So, to begin with the solution, so solution starts with first we will make a rough figure for a reference. So, how to take a particular reference figure? So, we can see that this is a cylindrical pipe where length is not mentioned. So, we are able to see the diameter is there and thickness is there and internal fluid pressure is there. Okay. So, first of all, <coughs> yes. so first of all, the diameter we will take it in the figure of diameter. Then internal thickness is also provided. So, now we can see this diameter is of 1.5 meters and the internal thickness of this particular pipe T is equals to 1.5 centimeters. Okay. So, if we convert this into meters, how much it will be there and they have given that internal pressure is 1.2 Newton per mm square. Okay. So, we can write down the given data. So, given data is mentioned as. So, first we can write diameter of pipe D is equals to 1.5 meters. Then we can write the thickness of pipe. T is equals to 1.5 centimeters. So, converting it into meter, it will be divided by 100. So, it is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meters. Okay. Then comes internal fluid pressure. So, internal fluid pressure if we take P is equals to 1.2 Newton per mm square it is. Okay. So, let us first find out whether it is a thin cylinder or thick cylinder. So, to know type of cylinder okay, as the ratio, ratio of thickness to diameter, okay, thickness to diameter. So, thickness is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 divided by 1.5, so which comes out to be 1 divided by 100, clear? Yeah. So, this is, so 1 divided by 100 means less which is less than 1 by 20 clear so a hence this is a thin cylinder this is a thin cylinder agree so this was the particular part now we will see the remaining section so as we know Hence, here, uh, here, what is the most important is unit of pressure 
okay that is p is in newton per mm square okay <coughs> hence hence what happens hence the circumferential stress and the particular longitudinal stress a unit should also be there in the newton per mm square itself only we need to find out okay so first part first one the longitudinal stress sigma l if i take okay so it is given by how so we can say that so this particular circumferential stress is given by in this so now longitudinal stress so we have the formula for longitudinal stress is pd by Four times thickness. Okay, so we know that the stress should be there in the newton per mm square. Clear? So this part, one point two into one point five divided by four times one point five into ten raised to minus two. Now here, this is also meter. This is also meter. It gets cancelled. So stress comes in. p upon 4 so this will be in the p pressure itself it is in the newton per mm square so i'll just make this dimension this is in meters this part is in meters this part is in newton per mm square okay so numerator and denominator gets cancelled so here this meter meter goes and we are able to get the dimension in terms of newton per mm square itself clear so this value comes out to be 30 newton per mm square is the value of longitudinal stress of the pipe then second one is circumferential stress the circumferential stress sigma f so formula is pd by 2 times t so again here it will be 1.2 into 1.5 divided by 2 into 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 so if we do it this is twice we also know that this is twice it is coming so we can write it as 60 newton per mm square is the particular value circumferential stress as 60 newton per mm square okay so we have the two values so we can say that the two values which are there for us are such as one is the longitudinal stress which is equals to 30 newton per mm square and circumferential stress which is equals to 60 newton per mm square so here also we can see that circumferential stress is equals to twice the longitudinal stress so we can also make that 2 into 30 is equals to 60 newton per mm square of the circumferential stress so as it satisfies then moving on for next problem so second numerical of the particular video so in this second numerical video we can see cylinder of internal diameter 2.5 meter and of a thickness is 5 cm contains a gas if the tensile stress in the material is not exceed is not exceed 80 newton per mm square determine the internal pressure of the gas so what is required in this part is 
the material tensile stress should not exceed something is given the tensile stress is given means sum of the value stresses are given we need to find out the pressure okay so let us make that particular part so i will write it with the given data so given data internal diameter d is equals to 2.5 meters clear <coughs> then thickness of cylinder that is t is equals to 5 centimeter as given so here we can see the diameter here we can see the 5 centimeter thickness then the stress so what is that maximum permissible we can say this as maximum permissible stress it is okay so it will be 80 newton per mm square what do you mean by maximum mm, permissible stress means this much is allowed means maximum allowed stress maximum allowed stress is known as maximum permissible stress okay so we need to remember if this is going beyond this so some value whatever stress we are getting if it is going beyond this then the pipe may get into collapse means it may break into two parts okay so we have to find out so in this part what we can find out is as maximum permissible stress is given hence this should be equal to the circumferential stress because more tension is acting in the circumferential stress so circumferential stress will be acting so we have to take the circumferential formula means why we are taking so tension is not occur occurring so this will be the particular pipe it is acting in this directions okay so this is circumferential stress what we are going to consider if we take it in the length wise also in this part it will be acting this is longitudinal okay and in this moment whatever is acting is circumferential stresses which are going to act so this circumferential stress we need to manage it understanding so this circumferential stress we have to manage so this circumferential stress what is that <clears throat> so in this context i can say that uh, we know that circumferential stress should not be greater than <coughs> should not be greater than maximum permissible stress clear so therefore sigma whatever the stress is given as 80 newton per mm square will take it as sigma f is equals to sigma means sigma, circumferential stress only we will take it as sigma as 80 newton per mm square then so this is what we are going to consider so for determining circumferential stress
sigma f is equals to p d by 2 times is the formula. Clear? So, this equation is known to us. As per this equation, what we can do is, as per this equation, when we are going for solution, so let us take this. So, here this solution turns out to be. So, now we know that uh, pressure is required means internal pressure. P, okay. So, therefore, P is equals to 2 T into sigma F divided by diameter will be the equation. Okay. So, using equation 1, that is P is equals to 2 times T into circumferential stress divided by the diameter. So, when we substitute the values 2 into 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 into circumferential stress is how much? 80 Newton per mm square divided by 2.5. So, P value, the internal pressure value comes out to be 3.2 Newton per mm square. Therefore, internal pressure P is equals to 3.2 Newton per mm square for maximum permissible stress of 80 Newton per mm square. Clear? So, this is the second numerical. Now, moving for the <coughs> third numerical. So, in third numerical, we know that water main of 80 centimeter diameter contains water at a pressure head. So, water is at a pressure head of 100 meters. Okay. If the water density of water is, water density they are giving is of 9810 Newton per mm cube. Find the thickness, find the thickness of the metal required for the water main. Permissible stress at 20 Newton per mm square. So, they have given so much of data. Clear? So, let us <coughs> see this in the uh, biggest context. So, I will just write down the first part as given data. So, solution, we will start with the given data. Given data, uh, dia of a main, diameter of a main, if we take D is equals to 80 centimeters, then pressure head of water pressure head of water h is equals to how much 100 meters given data then weight i need to find out weight <coughs> that is weight density of water okay how much is this part so we will take w as weight into density rho multiplied by g the gravitational force that what we are going to consider. So, it is as 1000 multiplied by 9.81 which will coming taken as 9810 Newton per meter mm cube it is. Okay. So, here they are giving permissible stress which is equals to 20 Newton per mm square. So, what is required to determine thickness? So, determine thickness. So, determine the thickness. Thickness is how much we need to determine. So, let us see further. <coughs> 
we can say permissible stress permissible stress is equal to circumferential stress so permissible stress is equals to circumferential stress so what is the circumferential stress is sigma f clear so they have given us in the question sigma f we will take it as 20 newton per mm square clear then pressure of water what is the pressure of water as mentioned pressure of water inside the water main we will take pressure of water inside the water main is p is pressure into rho into g into h this is the height as we have calculated so we get this as weight into height which is 9810 multiplied by 100 newton per meter square clear so this value if we are going to calculate the value of pressure in newton per mm square we will be calculating so that is p is equals to 9810 multiplied by 100 divided by 1000 square we are converting newton newton meter square to newton mm square okay so this will give the value in newton per mm square why i'll tell you because 1 meter is equals to 1000 mm please remember this so pressure p is equals to 0 0.981 newton per mm square is well okay so now further part let t is equals to thickness of the metal required so sigma f is equals to pd by 2 times t here what is here d is in centimeters hence <coughs> T will also thickness will also be in centimeter ok so therefore thickness is equals to if we change interchange now so P D divided by 2 times Sigma F so when we take thickness is equals to 0 0.981 multiplied by diameter 80 centimeter divided by 2 times 20 newton per mm square we get the thickness as 2 centimeters so here therefore thickness t is equals to 2 centimeters thank you see you in the next video